Harbor Cafe friends. Debbie Sayer here. I'm going to show you how to um, stamp some of the, how I stamp some of the flowers from the um, Hello World set from Petticoat Fashions, which is the new April Creative Cafe Kit of the Month. So I, this is the card I made. I chose to, I love yellow and gray together, and there's this great sparkly textured um, cardstock, gray cardstock in the kit, and I love the yellow and all that together, so I thought I would make pretty yellow flowers, um, and this is how I did it. So I used squeezed lemon distress ink and scattered straw, and then... This is the bottom, and then this is your classic two-step stamping. Anybody who has been in with, like, stamping up or anything, you're going to recognize this right away. So, okay. Um, I use this gray flannel for the middle of my flower and for the sentiment. Um, so, first I stamp the bottom. And I just used two flowers on that particular card. You could probably, if you planned it better, you could probably get three in there. So I might try that. Okay, so there's the bottom. And that was with squeezed lemonade. Now if you have a Misty tool, you might be able to use this a little. You might be able to use it better too. I haven't tried it with my Misty tool yet. Because I was kind of in a hurry. So now it's time to like match things up. So I'm going to stamp over it with the scattered straw. And is that it? No. Just like that. I'm going to make sure you can see. See that little bit right there? See? And I got almost perfect. No hands, Mom. There you go. Now, I'm going to put the lid back on that. Here's my middle. And I'm going to use the uh, gray flannel right in the middle. Okay. So I'm going to take this off and put it back on here because I'm going to use the Hello Sentiment that's in the stamp set. See there's Hello, How Are You, Enough, I Can't, like I Can't Thank You Enough, that kind of thing. So here is my sentiment. Okay, so I'm setting this aside. So here's my base. It's four and a fourth by five and a half. I don't know why. I always like to cut down the middle. I'm a, um, I don't know. I just like it that way. I think the the ribbon lays better. I don't know. It's just all in my head, I think. So I went ahead and squirted it, or cut it down the top, the long way, at four and a fourth, and squirted it at um, five and a half and folded it. And then I cut a piece of white cardstock, four by five and a fourth. Then I cut the yellow pattern paper to three by four. And this strip of gray is one inch by four. And I already glued it on to the yellow. So now I'm going to glue this onto my white before I stamp my sentiment. Because I want to make sure my sentiment is resting on, looks like it's resting on this. So, I'm going to glue this down, make sure I get it. Okay, one of the best things about using liquid adhesive is you can get it straight, or fairly straight, anyway. Okay, now here's the gray flannel again, and I'm going to ink up the hello. And I'm just going to stamp it just right here. There we go. And then there's this pretty gray 
seam binding. I think this is a beautiful color. And you can either tie a bow or tie a knot. Got to tell you, since I'm on camera, I think I'll probably just tie a knot because my bow tying on camera is not so good. Must be the pressure. I usually just tie like a square knot. And that looks pretty good. And then I have my scissors. And they have a piece of ribbon on them, and that means that they're only for ribbon. Boy, do my family get in trouble if they try to use my scissors. Okay. So there's that part. Now I'm going to hand cut these flowers out and put them on my card. So... I'll probably just speed this up. flowers are the best way to put go. So, okay, I'm going to put this one down right here. And then I'm going to put this one down right there. And then this is going to go on my base. Just like that. And that's my hello card.